Hi, I'm Kathy Klein, and I wanted to talk to you today about things that you can do in the beginning of your career that will really exponentially increase your, um, your ability to earn a living one to two years later, let's say two years later. So one of the things that I started doing when I was early in my career is I networked. And the very first thing I did was join a BNI. And you might think, oh, why would you join a BNI? There's, there's nobody there that's turning 65, which is true. The BNI chapter that I joined, it was all young people. And I had given myself a two year period to start earning my referrals or I would leave that BNI chapter. And what happened was I actually started making money. I had paid for my BNI membership within the first four months. And it, it just ballooned from there. From my BNI membership, I was introduced to somebody who had networking meetings for people in the senior services industry. And then from there, I started networking exclusively with people who are in uh, the senior services industry. And right now, I'm sitting in my car, I'm about to go in to a senior community and give a presentation to the staff. Now, it's not all of the staff that I'll be talking to, it's just four people. And you're saying to yourself, why would you go in and do a presentation just for four people? Well. It's four of the right people. These are people who work inside the agency who can send me a ton of leads. And this is what I did in the first year. I just networked and didn't worry about making sales. Now I know that you have to make a living, but in this industry, your reputation is number one important. When somebody gives you a referral, your job should be to do what's right for that client regardless of whether you make a sale or not. Because word will get around. The senior services industry is, there's a lot of people in it, but it's a small industry. And your reputation means it's, it's gold. And at this point, I get more referrals than I know what to do with, to be honest. Um, it, you know, I, I'm not a telemarketer. I don't just dial, dial, dial. People call me. And so one week, a couple of weeks ago, I had seven, I did seven applications, all from referrals. And like I said, how I did it was when I got that first recommendation from somebody, I just took care of them. I don't even remember if, it, if I resulted in a sale. A lot of times when people call me, I will tell them that they need to do something where I don't get a sale. But now at this point, I'm getting more referrals, more referrals. So that would be my advice to you is when you first start networking, if that's your method, if that's your preferred method of getting sales, make sure that you follow up with your referral sources. I send them brownies. Sometimes they tell me not to send them anymore because they're getting fat, in which case I'll switch to tea. Um, I use a company called Send Out Cards to do that. I've been with them for, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 years. Um, but so it's really easy to use Send Out Cards. I used to be, my husband used to be uh, an affiliate with them, I think. I, I don't think he is anymore. But I used to spend over I don't know, I used to send like 300 cards a month when I was full-time financial advising because that's how many people turned, you know, they had a birthday and I would send everybody birthday cards. But anyway, my advice to you is just keep doing it. If you're working in the networking, you know, if your main goal is to get leads from doctor's offices, assisted living facilities, um, those kind of places, just treat their customers like gold and do the right thing for that client even if it means walking away from the sale and let uh, just keep your referral source 
um, without violating any HIPAA rules. Just keep them informed as to what's going on with that client. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.